Alright, so I've returned to this machine. I had a very tough leak repair to do on it. They're saying the AC and the heat's not working, so cool done. Fan started. Alright, so right now we're in the wait mode. And let's go to max. Still waiting, so wait for the wait to be over. Power sounds like it's going through. I want to open this. I want to see what it looks like inside. I'm sure there's no leak where I did the repair last year. That was like the beginning of January. There was a little baby here. I had to get this thing up and going really fast, I remember. Nothing looks burned or cooked on the board. The board looks good. Just waiting for our contactor to pull. Nothing yet. Max. So I wanna can I see in? Looks pretty dry in there. We'll definitely get a closer look. It definitely looks dry in there. All wires are connected. Oh, oh. 102. That was a high lock rotor. Oh, oh. My gloves are no longer able to turn this. But zero amps. So my compressor lock rotors and doesn't start. I didn't even hear a chug or anything out of the compressor. I just saw the lock rotor go up and the meter recorded it and that was it. So let's stop this machine now. Obviously it doesn't work. And I want to just open up this so I could see what my leak repair looks like. I'm also going to pop in a super boost. I doubt it's going to do anything. So that leak repair was successful. Now to install Super Boost. The capacitor is right behind here. Just make sure I have no power. Running voltage, boom, boom, good. Boom, boom, good. Just makes it easier to get to where I gotta go if I move it a little bit. This isn't like a service tech friendly unit. No metal up top. Nice. Connect the super boost. If it 
works, I'll mount it. If it doesn't, just disconnect it, put it back in my truck. Now I should check the capacitor first also. But I kind of figured with the lock rotor, maybe the capacitor, before I pop up the super boost, you know, the ultimate mistake. Throw a super boost on a bad capacitor. I see it all the time. Where can I put these? Spot. So, as long as you got one side of your capacitor disconnected, you can test it. So many people freak out and say you can't, but you can. Anybody that says you can't, they just don't know what they're doing. So, on, on, and we 38. All right. I don't think that's the reason why we're not starting. That's a 40, I believe. It's 38 point something. So let's just throw that super boost on now and see if we could accomplish anything. Or if the compressor is just a friggin' tin can, which very much probably is at this point. Nothing more than a tin can. fancy plug here. Where's the release? Alright, on the compressor. If I mag it, it may mag the ground. Let's just see what kind of ohms we got. Three, four. Point nine. That's two, eight. Point eight. Three, six. Yeah, it looks like it should be pretty good. Let me disconnect the back up real fast. That's my compressor side, and that's my turbo super boost. Where is my compressor molded? Plug back in. All right. Let's see if anything changes here. Get a screw in it. Help hold it. I'm hoping they didn't lose this compressor because they're doing a lot of work in the building. They're shutting valve, the water valves off, the water feed. That's just a temporary thing for now. Plug it in, see if the super boost can at least get the compressor to kick, or it does nothing. Now we gotta go through the friggin' weight again. Always fun dealing with the weight. I got patience, I got time, but let me set it into max because I may miss it. So we're still in weight here, the board's still timing out up there, that's what the blinking is. So, we're just waiting, wait, 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 waiting for it to friggin' start, turn on you bastards.
turn on and give us air conditioning is what we want. So what we want is air conditioning. So turn on. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Da -na 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 -na. Here we go. Oh, here we go. That's timed out now. Now we're just waiting for this to time out. Turn on. We're still at zero. Any second now, give us air conditioning, you sums of a. I remember the day I did this repair it was the day I bought that frigging car. Great frigging car. Mugging everything up into this building. Recovery machines that I didn't need. Recovery tank I didn't need. <laughs> System was completely flat. But I didn't know. I was just told I was sent I was sent for a leak repair. I wasn't the guy that initially found the problem. So I'm showing up with everything I need. I think this even beeps to help remind me that, hey, look, amps are going up. Hopefully it kicks over now, which is like, bzzz. All my wires are connected up top. Just making sure nothing fell off as we move things around, because things can fall off. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Come on and start. Give us air conditioning. Don't send this unit to the scrapyard. This unit is only a 2007 model. But heat pumps suck because they don't last. They run all year and they're garbage. <laughs> No, nah, they're not that bad. I just water cooled is the only kind you really see of heat pumps in around here. I mean, the compressor wasn't up on overload, so it should at least try to start. All the windings seemed okay. It's not grounded, or else we would be blowing sparks. Breaker would trip right away. Oh, we're on! We're on! We started. A little super boost action, and we're on. All oh, my freaking gloves don't. Maybe my tools oily. I don't know. But we're on. Okay, so I gotta kind of the blower section door. I gotta put back on. Be right back. All right, and I also forgot the water's off in the building, so I can't let this thing run. <laughs> what reminded me was the amps kept going up. So I can't let it run, but at least I got the compressor started. So if it doesn't work when they put the water back on in the building, I can always come back for a follow up. But the water right now, they're actually changing valves and they've drained the whole tower and everything. So I completely forgot about that, but I wasn't going to not try to find out if that compressor would run. I was told nothing would start when I came into the building. Well, when they made this call, so I'm going to button this up. I wish I could show you operating pressures and how good everything is. But I mean, we were at 14 amps on that compressor, but with no water cooling it off, rated for 20. It was starting to rise unless I have water moving, which I doubt I do because I was told by the front desk by about 10 o'clock, the water be off and it's a little past 10 right now. So, I'm going to close this up and get out of here. At least my leak up here is sealed. I heard refrigerant in the system when I shut it down. So, since this thing was able to bring the compressor on, I mounted it right on top here so it's not flopping around and just bouncing around inside. And I'm going to button it up now and close everything up and get out of here. Till next time, I'm out.